164 days have passed since the UEFA Women's Champions League trophy was lifted in Eindhoven. And tonight, for 16 teams, the journey begins in earnest once again. And let's have a look at the lineups. Well, Rus and Gord are undergoing something of a fitness nightmare. They've got six first teamers battling injury. Nico Arnautis names in an unchanged 11 from Friday's 2 2 draw with Bayer Leverkusen. German international Nicole and Yomi got both goals in that game. And now must pick themselves up for these six Group A games. But with a raft of injuries, we are underway. Another season of UEFA Women's Champions League football. And the first leg of the Second round qualifier against Spartak Subotic, so the Serbian champions, it was a comfortable win, but a, a great loss for Rosen Gorgas. Kadoki might be in here. Oh, and it was a loose challenge from Zara Dorzun. Falter the option to receive it back. Too many blue shirts around her. Prashnikal will try her look, and she's done better. And she's got Anyomi in the middle. So to Frygang, it will be Frygang. Lovely little layoff, but over the crossbar. Verena Henshaw couldn't keep it down. Looking for a way through. Here's Prashnika. Back to Barbara Dunst and a whole host of options. And Yomi is there all the way through and wide by Reutzela. I think it was a defensive touch that took it away from goal. And Barbara Dunst with a delicate ball just over the head of Anyomi. To thwart the Slovenian. Rashnikar once more, this time up against Feek and did get the cross in. Anyomi is there and Anyomi's picked the pocket. And Pavelek. Oh, it's found its way in. And I don't know how much the goalkeeper saw of it. It's one that Angel Makassa might want to forget. But Tanya Pavolek has put Eintracht Frankfurt into the lead in moment. Not a blockbuster goal, but they all count the same. And the four time winners. Have to set the opportunity now in Group A. Well, it's really hard on the goalkeeper. They blocked the move, or that's what the club claimed, and so that's why they had to go for Shannon Lynn, goalkeeper coach who retired last year at Vitkwa. Here comes Anyomi, looking to test Mukasa again. Prashnikar alongside her. Well, she didn't need her in the end, and a brilliant save by Angel Mukasa. Nanyomi bearing down on goal. Orna Dota couldn't get near, but what a touch from Angel Mikasa. Sophia Friedgord was the one who courted her attention. Anyway, here comes the corner. And it's a scrappy one, and flying it was Anyomi. It's been clubbed away by the Russian Gord defence. Well, there have been a succession of dangerous balls. This one caused all kinds of problems. Anyomi came bustling in, and it's a brilliant challenge in the end. Get your momentum going before you take on the big guns, or big gun in this group with Barcelona. Here's a chance to make it a second. Chance that was nearly taken as well and might still be. Oh, well held by Makassa. Too disappointed. Well, this was a chance. It was flicked on right into the path of Makassa, but then had to bravely go about collecting the second. Up against Abeys. It's going to be Lara Prashnikar and Dunst thinking about the effort and puts it just over. And you can afford to gamble on those kind of long range efforts. Here's Pavoli. Forward towards Anyomi. She's found Prashnikar. Could save Makassa. And another one from the goalkeeper. Lara Prashnikar with the effort. Okay, it was central, but the goalkeeper still had to move and move quickly. Overlapping this time, and she'll forward. Oh, it's found its way all the way through past everybody. Pia Volta with the effort. Well, the right back still up to the plate, and well, it's a massive intervention. Obeys. Erling wants the one-two and she'll get it. Might use Kadoaki, and it is Kadoaki over the bar. And that was the chance. Goal kick the call as well. Slipped in by a lovely ball from Rhea Erling. And this is moving nicely in the way of a counter-attack. Laura Freigang skips away from Friedgord. 
Looking to time the cross well. It's a lovely one towards Reutler at the back post and it hits Erling. Corner again. And what a ball she played to slip in by Kadoki, but the best chance for the host, but accuracy was lacking that time. And this could spell danger for Russ and Gord, because Freigang is through. And a brilliant intervention from Gudrun on a dot it. Well, Freigang was bearing down on goal and just did enough there, the Icelandic defender. Still, still in with an opportunity, and the odds were against them at kickoff. That's forward towards Janssen. Scoop to chase it down. Oh, Anderson off the bar! And to safety, relative safety. What an opportunity, and she just rolled the defender, got away from Kleinherner. And Stine Johannes, very fortunate with where that ricochet ended up. That Mind you, goalkeeper is a position that is evergreen. As I'm sure Shannon Lynn on the bench for Russ and Gold can attest. That's been given away. This could be costly. Laura Freigang up against the base. Can she get a shot away? Dunst, it's two. And Russ and Gold's resolve is broken. With six minutes of normal time to play. It has been a brave showing, but Frankfurt have also exhibited their class of Rosengord. But it looked like it might come to Freigang first and nipped it back across goal. Bypass Vamser, but Dunst was there to make the finish. Abe is flying in to get the block in, but they could only delay. Nona Dotta, unfortunate that they took brought it into the path of Dunst. And she found a pocket of space. Martinez trying to slip a pass into the danger zone for Volta. Might come again. Well watched by Angel Makassa. Little she could have done about the second goal. Double the lead with six minutes of normal time to play. Stoyan Oscar. Run aground by Archie Gers, but does win the throwing. Picked up by Canark, and the turn is on for Amelia Larson. Finds Sprung. Oh, it's come all the way across. There might be a goal here, and they found it. Olivia Scoop, and they're racing to get the ball out of the net. And the captain on the night has half the arrears, but just 90 seconds of added time remaining. Well, Canark started this off. Larsen was chasing it down, it was young Bea Sprung who put the ball in, it evaded everybody until the back post, and Olivia Skoog on hand to turn it past Johannes. Well, they have rallied for most of this game. Russian go. And is there life in them? That's got to be a free kick. And a yellow card to boot as well. It was a resilient performance from their host, but Eintracht Frankfurt have started their Women's Champions League campaign with a win.